All right, as we continue to get more reactions on that story, shifting focus now to Bengaluru, what we are getting to know that there has been a new dictat that has now kept work with no authorized, unauthorized banners or hoardings uh, will now be seen in Bengaluru. And uh, this is an advisory that is an announcement that has been made also when it comes to the announcement that came in days after the Karnataka High Court has already clamped down on BBMP for not taking stringent action against unauthorized flexes despite an existing ban. Neha is with us uh, this morning. Neha, good morning. Uh, what is this new announcement regarding big banners and hoardings that are put in place across the city? Well, yes. Yeah. No, it was uh, only yesterday that we heard from the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka where, you know, he announced that the ban on the illegal holdings and flexes was going to be strictly implemented. Remember that, you know, we've already seen the Karnataka High Court uh, coming down hard on multiple governments for not, you know, implementing this ban properly. We are understanding now that, you know, about 59,000 flexes have already been removed by the BBMP and about 40 FIRs have been registered in connection to illegal holdings by but um, more importantly now, we're also picking up that, you know, this existing ban is going to be implemented in a very strict manner. And uh, all of this, of course, after the High Court pulled up, uh, you know, uh, the government as well. So we'll really have to wait and see. Uh, the Deputy Chief Minister there also, in fact, going on to say that a policy will soon be formulated, uh, you know, that will, in fact, um, grant permission for only installing certain flexes. So uh, how is this, of course, going to be implemented? Remember, you know, also with the elections having recently concluded in the state of Karnataka, several flexes of political personalities still remain put up, uh, you know, and this is of course something that's not only, uh, you know, spoiling the beauty of the city, but also, in fact, it is a big distraction to uh, drivers on the road is what the High Court had said earlier as well. So in connection to that now, this is what the government has decided that they would be very strictly implementing this order. Right, but Neha, D.K. Shivakumar was also responsible for the Bengaluru development portfolio. Uh, he apparently has also declared that a big penalty or a fine will also be imposed on each violator. Uh, that starts apparently from the 15th of August. Well, that's absolutely right. You know, this comes after the High Court recently warned the government of strict action and even ordered it to submit a report on, you know, what steps are being taken to actually curb the menace of illegal holdings in uh, Bengaluru City. And he's further gone on to add that, you know, this isn't going to be dealt with uh, lightly, that the government is going to be dealing with this very strictly All right. and a very stringent fine is going to be imposed. All right, Nea, thanks very much for the update. Uh, let's quickly listen in to what the Deputy CM has to say on this uh, a uh, latest announcement that has been done when it comes to banning hoardings. Uh, this is already an order that has been put in place by the High Court, uh, but more stringent measures are now going to be taken by the government. So I am appealing to everyone that as on today from tomorrow, no illegal banners, flex or holding has to be done in Bangalore City Corporation limits. If they are going to do it, there will be FIR filed and a fine of about 50,000 rupees on government also, on BBMP also, on the individuals also will be levied.